Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about debugging with GDB, which is the GNU debugger. So we've seen some examples before of how you can do debugging with printf statements and how you can wrap those with a, a debug flag so that you, you can decide at compile time whether or not you want that compile that debug information. But here we're going to use a debugger, which for some things is, is an easier way to find your bugs. As far as which one's better, it just depends. Don't get too hung up on always having to use a debugger. If you find a debugger helpful, then use it. If you don't, then don't use the debugger. It's certainly acceptable if you if you prefer to use printf statements. And there's plenty of examples out there for that. We're going to run with this particular program. Here we have a structure that has an integer and a character array. We have a function, and I actually notice these functions call each other. So problem one just calls problem two, and then that does some stuff. We actually are going to have a problem here because that divides by zero. We initialize some structs, we initialize some pointers, and then we print everything out. So let's compile this. And we're going to use the dash G flag to indicate that I want you to compile this with some hooks so that GDB can understand what's going on. So if I if I run this, you'll see that I get a floating point exception probably related to that division by zero. I can start the debugger. And you see I get some stuff. So you can read this. Some of this information may be useful. You also get some uh, documentation links and so forth. But now I'm actually running the debugger. So if I run this, notice it actually gives me some information. I got an arithmetic exception, and it was at this line. And if I run it again, it says it started already, but I can start it from the beginning. So I'll do that. There we go. If I continue, so you'll see that, well, your program terminated. It doesn't exist anymore. And if I type run, it'll start all over. I can see that I have a problem here in line 11. So if I go to my program, here's line 11, and you can see that there's a problem. So I'm going to set a breakpoint, break GDB test dot C at line 11. And this would actually stop it, but I could also say if k equals 0. So now if I run, notice I have this breakpoint. And so now I want to see what k is. Now, it's sort of a, since this point, since I already have that breakpoint, I know that the breakpoint was conditional on k being 0, but I can print what k is. And I can print k, and now k is 0. So now I know that, hey, look, I have a bug there. Whoops, so I'll quit. And I'll kill the process. That's fine, because I'm going to go back, and I'm going to recompile it. So I'm going to say that this is going to be 2. And just to avoid the warning, I'm going to say print k equals a equals So now let's run, the, let's uh, compile this. And you'll see there's actually no bugs now. If I run this, it's, it's what I would expect. So let's go back and debug it some more. There's not really a reason to, the program works, I guess, but let's see some of the other functionality we have. So I'm going to debug a.out. And I can step. So it's not being run yet. So let me set a breakpoint. Let's set it in line 24. And it's just break. So I'm going to run. Looks like I have some missing debug info, but it looks like here we are. So I can print II. I can step. And then notice that 
it tells me the the code so I'm, I'm printing this i'm going to step again now look at it executed and and now it's printing some additional things so now it looks like we're on line 25 again so a is now 12. and i can keep doing this I want, I want A to be an interesting number, and then we'll stop. Okay, so I can print A, and I get 18, but I can also print X, A, and I'll get the hexadecimal representation of that number. Now, we also have this structure. I can print that structure. And notice it tells me what's there. I can also print that structure using the pointer. It's not num. Let's see, what's it called? Oh, A. And print pointer C. With a combination of breakpoints, specific, specifically conditional breakpoints, and then stepping through the code, I can actually go through, watch what, what's going on with my code, and make a determination of where my particular bug is. So there's a lot here about GDB. There's some more in the notes. There's also um, some good stuff in the book, in the C book. And so definitely, if you're interested, read more about it there. I think for now, this should be sufficient for getting you started with GDB at least.